Hello and welcome to another episode of Gaming with Zane. Let's jump into it. We were just able to vassalize the Duchy of Mercia. He's not exactly happy with me, but that's okay. We will likely be taking stuff away from him soon, so... Like son has a headache. He is arbitrary, and he is really not that great. But I think what we are going to do me, is attempt to have him betrothed to her after we make her a tributary. Then we will most likely give him land while attending prayer. Early one morning, I noticed my brother dozing off in his sleep. Yep, we should wake him and we gain a favor. He's no, he's nothing special. Think nothing of it. Salvation to others. Therefore, we ask you to construct a new church in your lands. Um, how much would building a church be? We probably have enough left over to get a claim, because watch. Watch this happen. And we get the claim and it'd be 300 and us not have the money for it. Alright, our truce ex is expiring. Let's go ahead and bring our retinues up north. Let's bring them to Durham. few days left, 15, so that the first year we will be able to do this, 7 days. And it's gone. So now, let's, uh, let's talk to him. One last chance at vassalization, you are pig-headed, so we shall declare war for Westmoreland. Oh, he has Christian friends, because my threat is... Honestly, one more month tick and it should dissolve. There's the month. I'm still considered threatening. Maybe one more. There it goes. So those should be dissolved. Declare war. Y no. What's the deal? So there's no more packs. I'm no longer threatening. And we have a rebellion. How unfortunate. How many can you raise? A few. That's a rather big rebellion. This is putting dampers on all of my plans. That is definitely not 5,000. One more here. Not enough. What have we got? Okay, let's bring them there. Where are you going? Defensive pact has been disbanded. They have moved to Oxford. The wife of the King of Italy has been spending a few days in Wessex. It has been a very nice experience meeting her. Maybe our peoples are not that different now for, after all. Uh, this changes nothing. You are the wrong religion, so... No. I'd like to leave it open if we ever decide to attack you. Not you... I want to raise the levies. There we go. Who gets there first? April 1st, March 28th. That, that is good. For good measure. Oh, why was our morale so far down? Okay. 
let's disband bring our troops up here and do what we were originally going to do northern revolt has ended well, the tournament that's not going to happen with two unlanded sons I'm aware of so now we will declare war there we go, no allies, and on you, little missy, we will declare war for tributary. <clears throat> Very nice. So, let's raise levies here, here, and here. And they will all move there. We will raise all of my own troops to deal with whales. Why not raise Mercia too? Just to make them even angrier. We have a marriage. Prince of Austrus, my kinswoman. She has Duchy Northumbria. Sure, I'll accept that. We can imprison someone. The King of Mercia, what's he trying to do? Fabricate a claim on the Kingdom of England. Why don't you uh, not do that? There we go, and there is that one. Very good, I'm glad you came to your senses. We definitely want someone to lead armies here. The battle for the north is over, so let's get the best. Merge them. A child needs an education. Uh, we will still go there. Hmm. Okay. So who we will catch them? That's very good. Our vassals are starting to get upset. That's okay. We will catch that one too. No matter how many times I try, not, I try to point out the virtues of my marshal, my wife won't listen. She cannot take no for an answer. Not when she has decided that her friend should be marshal. Uh, my son. She wants the son to be marshal? He is honestly not that good. No matter what you say, I will not make your friend marshal. She's not happy at all. That's okay. Very good, we are sending them down to not having a whole lot left. So now we are at the siege phase of these two wars. We create a duchy, duchy of pals. Really, we can create the duchy of pals? A titular duchy. I don't really care about that. How can I create the titular Duchy of Pals? I do not own it. There's nothing going on. Is it just because I'm at war with them? There's no de jour. It's Kingdom of Wales, Empire of Britannia. No, I, I don't really care. Uh, king has granted Rome to its rightful ruler so that the Patricelli Pope may lead his church from accommodations befitting his stature. The Pope shall soon take up his abode in the offices historically occupied by his Catholic predecessors. 
He is Catholic. Let's talk about Fratricelli. God save us. Okay, then. Papal authority is restored. They have Rome, 5%. Partial control. Interesting. So which one is that? That is Gwynyd. Waiting on siege. It's almost done. Very good. At 95, so with that it would be easier to just attack them once more. And it will likely be over. They are caught. We have raiders, enough raiders to be annoying. Oh, what was that? So, how did you turn out? Ambitious, chaste, slothful, and brawny. But that is good. You have already a weak claim on the Kingdom of Scotland. He doesn't like me so much because I have Lothlan, but they will accept that they will be married. Very lovely. Uh, let's go with the gold. And can we? We cannot. So she does not count as a close family member. Commander. It's just not, not available at all. Teach virtue. Spiritual guidance. Wonder if it needs a minute to update. So I would imagine that being a close family member. So that is over with. Very good. I'm in charge of that. That is awesome. I should give that to one of my sons, but for right now, I think we will hold on to it. Right here, we will move here to attack you. Though he would probably like it, wouldn't he? More raiders. We will come down there. They are willing to give up, yes? We surrender. Remove any previous suzerain. That's very good. We will accept. You are now a tributary. And you now have someone betrothed. You should really break that. That is unfortunate. Well, <laughs> so much for that plan. Can we kill him? Not likely. Really, she is going with a Jewish Khazar instead of someone closer by. He'll say no because, yeah. Does no one else really want to kill him? Like, no maybes? It's 18 more points. There's a few. It would take a lot of people. I'm happy to see him die. Uh, so let's try. How much do you want? 15? Yeah, we can get lots of people. Most of them are like that. Send a gift. 15. How lovely. And you? Yeah. We're getting it. Get plenty of people and it almost doesn't matter if 
we get caught as long as it happens. He would cost a bit more, so no. What about you? It's only 15? Yeah. You may die soon. Okay. Why not you two? We've done everyone else. So now let's go ahead and invite everyone. Let's deal with the stupid Vikings. Truce with who? With her. We don't have anything that we can do just yet. Okay, and there too. It's very nice. So look, we have England proper. That's very good. So I should go ahead and give my eldest son. Let's see if we can't. No, so we should keep her around for a minute. Uh, it's a close relative. One of these must be true. She's not considered a close relative. Hmm. So much for getting rid of her slothfulness. So that would actually be nice. But you, we will grant you the County of Gwent and she'll grant you the Duchy. Southern Wales. The tournament truce is expiring with Cornwall. And we have one unlanded son now. Which, uh, putting him as the Duke of Lancaster, well, there's already a Duke of Lancaster, isn't there? Uh, Essex can take care of that, which we're trying to kill someone, so that will be a minute. We have house carls. Uh, I need to take a look at the buildings in Wessex and figure out how to reinforce them and make them harder to conquer if the county would be besieged. The buildings did not inspire me in any way. But I have a friend who is excellent at these kind of things. Uh, what am I waiting for? Siege, just to ask. He's told about what the king has in mind about reinforcements in Wessex. Maybe a new watchtower? Defensive wall? I'll think of something. Is this my son? Yeah, sure, let's talk to him. Let's see what we get. Uh, we can do more house carls. That is a bit more than I would like, I think. So let's go with stables, maybe. It will cost a large sum of money to repair these old buildings. And even if they are repaired, I wouldn't promise that they would stand a siege. Tear them down, salvage as much material as you can, and build anew. It'll cost, and if you want my help, it'll cost a bit more. Wow. Uh, Prince Harold condemned the old buildings and my plans to reinforce them. And there's nothing I can do. Oh, well, it's... No, that's not that bad. It's not that much money. Uh, build costs. Gain one stewardship. For him? Yeah. Do I gain one stewardship? It doesn't really matter. Either one of us gaining it is good. And he gets the money, so that's fine. It's like it's not really going anywhere. I'm going to start building stables there. Grand Tournament. How many society points do I have? 500. Uh, in the name of God. Built the church. 
How lovely. I own it. I should give it to someone else. Can we? We can teach a virtue. Charitable or kind. What about you? I still can't. Yeah. Must be landed or a close relative. That is too bad. Uh, like, in laws do not count as cl close relatives. But you, we will impart a virtue on you, either charitable or kind. Let's do it. He becomes charitable when kind would have been the better one. He's getting some diplomacy, though, so that's kind of helpful. Uh, who can we imprison? She wanted to kill? <laughs> just, no, just don't. I need to find a learned man. To give this title to. Uh, he is brave, paranoid, and greedy. He is possessed. He already owns territory. We want people that do not own territory. You seem good. Trusting, just, diligent, patient. Uh, but you are an heir to a place already. He has been blinded. He is envious and honest. Court physician. Um, yeah. Can we give him... Sure. Have a blind guy in charge. Kingdom of Italy. Kingdom of Bavaria. No, I don't think so. Whoa. So we've got lots of uh, Orthodox people coming in. Where's Bavaria? Interesting. Okay. Where to next? We need a claim here. We have gotten our marriage secured there. We are trying to kill him so that we can get a new betrothal going on. Ah. Uh... Duchy of Pals. How can I create a Duchy of Pals? That seems a bit strange to me. Deft. Well, I can, but I can't. Because uh, he has to die. Second Mercy in Civil War. Okay. We'll see if he wins or loses, or how that turns out for him. Oh, -ho. we've got annoying Vikings. Are you going to take care of it yourself? Yes, you are. Good for you. There are a few monasteries close by where the lay members of the Benedictine Order frequently convene. Uh, yeah, we'll do our duties. The order in God cares much for the souls of our members. As such, we would like you to. We would like to advise you to go on a pilgrimage since you have not done so. Sure, let's go on a pilgrimage. Sounds fun. Go on pilgrimage. Ah, uh, but in doing so, we should appoint. Honorary title, not court. So it will be my wife. That'll be fine. Let's see. 
There are a number of different holy places that you can visit on your pilgrimage. All of them are considered most sacred by the Holy Church. But a somewhat closer destination might mean a safer journey. You should visit a site in the west. You should go to one of the ancient sites of Jerusalem or Rome. Uh, we're getting old. Let's play it safe. We'll visit a place in the west. A pilgrimage in the west is just as worthy as a journey to Jerusalem or to Rome. I'll we'll visit the tomb of St. James in Santiago. Things are packed. Everything is in order. I am ready to walk the way of St. James. My journey begins. My queen is now regent. And with that, we actually increase the number of counties we can hold. It's my, my queen is a better ruler than me. The Flood. There have been strong rains in the area lately, and the valley that you need to cross has been transformed into a sizable lake. The water is still rising, so you start to build a large raft in order to cross. When you're almost finished building it, a group of farmers show up and explain they also need to cross the valley in order to get back to their homes. They bring with them another number of animals that they've rescued from the flood. I'm not sharing my raft. Bring the farmer with all their animals. I'm going to let them bring the cats and dogs. Uh, this is interesting. It's down to the lower two. We, we will do the nice thing. This one has no flavor text about what happens. That seems dangerous to me. But my, my boys are grown up. So let's uh, bring the farmers and all their animals. We'll see if it helps. Riders approach. Thundering hooves are heard down the road. The pilgrims look with apprehension at the rising dust cloud. As riders close, steel armor and steel tip lances reflect the bright sunlight. The tension rises, but then a collective sigh of relief is heard as the banner of the holy knights is seen flying above the mass of armored men. The knights halt before the pilgrims and graciously offer to accompany you on the road. Praise be the Lord and most welcome escort. Never trust our men who appear out of nowhere. Uh, I mean, yeah, they seem nice enough. So I am in two places at once. We will go with the stewardship. Santiago, you have finally arrived in Santiago, the oldest major, major pilgrimage site in the west. It is an inland town close to the Atlantic Ocean with origins going back to at least the Roman Empire. The, the fabled ways of St. James is a long road to travel, and you have passed through many towns and villages on your way there. The legend holds that as St. James remains, were brought here by ship from Jerusalem, they were lost at sea due to a storm, but soon after they were miraculously washed ashore, covered in scallops. Because of this, scallop shells have become a popular souvenir among pilgrims. Your mind dwells on the legends of this holy place as you make your way through the crowds towards the center of the town. I must remember to bring a seashell home with me. The bustling mass of pilgrims is impressive, as there are many languages, colors, and ways of dress present. People come here from east, west, north, and south. You are standing at a place where the roads meet, and that is where people and ideas meet. Take the opportunity to observe the different languages and customs. Take the opportunity to meet new people. Uh, let's, uh, let's go with Gregarious. Do we gain it? We did not gain Gregarious. Uh, that's okay. Except for he's going to go into hiding. Good time, that's too bad. Since I'm in two places at once. I have become a pilgrim. You have finally returned from your pilgrimage. It was a rewarding and interesting journey. And you'd do it all again if you could. Still, it's good to be back home. Gain 30 piety. Become a pilgrim. How lovely. Uh, Regency has ended. Praise God. And I think 
that is where we are going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. We will see you next time.